So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the luck? Come on. Let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code. Woof. It's Windows Pro time. Oh yes, it's here. Finally, finally, can you believe it? 4K 60 HDR dongle, baby. This is not just for Macs. This is for PCs as well. And I do find that the Apple ones are really good and they work awesome on PCs. In fact, I'd rather get an Apple dongle because I've got so many dongles that are made for PCs that work on one and then don't work on the other. And yeah, it's just a headache. The Apple ones, they work on everything. Like they're really good. They are expensive. And as you can see here, here's the old one. And this dongle here is a big dongle. And fellas, we like big dongles, don't we? Yes. Now it looks exactly the same. So I actually had to mark the old dongle. Now it is expensive, like 99 Australian dollars. But I can tell you now, any Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C dongle that does 4K, 60 hertz and HDR, got to not forget the HDR, it's got to do that as well. They cost a fortune anyway. So in actual fact, the actual cost is not that much compared to other dongles. So if you have a look on the box, it pretty much demonstrates what it does. You can see there, it connects to your computer via USB-C. Also on the dongle, you have USB-C. That's for power. So you can pass power through it. So if you had like a MacBook that only has one USB-C, that's okay. You can still connect your power in there and then connect the device to this, a display or any USB device. Also have HDMI there. doesn't really matter what standard it is. It's enough to do 4K 60 HDR. So that's all you need to know. And then you have a normal USB Type-A. So you can see on the illustration there, you connect one USB-C to your laptop or iPad if that's the way you want to go. And then you can connect your power to USB-C. If you have a laptop that charges for your USB-C, you got HDMI and then you can output to your HDMI and connect your devices via USB-C. So let's have a look at it. It looks exactly the same. And the good thing about this dongle is, yes, it is big, but having a utility of being able to pass through the power and having a USB, I think sort of warrants the size of it. You literally cannot make it any smaller it is plastics i do like that i've got dongles where they try and make things premium and yeah some people say it's for heat no they're just trying to make things premium and they make them out of aluminium or something like that you do not want an aluminium dongle worst thing ever it's just going to scratch your laptop plastic is the way to go it still looks classy and high-end with white glossy plastic it looks good so anyway let's find out if it works now i have a monitor here my monitor is 4k hdr compatible 60 hertz as well now i'll Plug it in with the Mac and boom. Yes, I get the 60 hertz. The monitor warns me if it's not 60 hertz. HDR, I have no idea. It may be only a thing for Catalina, but I don't know how to use HDR on a Mac. If anybody knows how to display HDR to a HDR monitor on a Mac, let me know. But you can theorize, right? The reason they're releasing this now is because they're going to have that HDR monitor coming out from Apple soon. Also, they might have a 16-inch MacBook Pro with a HDR display. So probably that's why they're getting a the dongle out now. So yes, I get no complaints by my monitor when I connect the Mac to it. It is 60 hertz. I checked it in the system report. It is 60 hertz, no problem. So let's put it on a PC so we can see if HDR works. Now I connect this Aero 17 via the Thunderbolt 3 and boom, gives me a warning. Oh, it's not 60 hertz. Okay, fair enough. Now let's go into the settings. I turn on HDR. Boom. You can see there it comes up HDR mode. So yes, it can output HDR, but I'm still only getting 30 hertz. Now I check in the system properties. What's going on? Don't know. Through Thunderbolt 3, you would expect you'd be able to do 60 hertz HDR, but on this arrow, and I checked it on the 15 inch arrow, no, I can't. To do that, I actually have to connect it to the USB-C. USB-C, woof. Straight away, 60 hertz, and when I put on HDR, HDR comes up. So it does it no problem, 60 hertz HDR through the USB-C. Why I'm stuck on 30 hertz with the Thunderbolt 3 is like a mystery to me. I don't know what that is. But anyway, this thing is well worth it. It's going to work Mac or PC. Finally, 60 hertz HDR 4K, baby. And why now? Why did it take so long? That monitor coming out from Apple, that HDR monitor, Catalina probably coming out, maybe supports HDR better than, I have no idea how to do it on the current Mac OS. And hopefully the 16 inch MacBook Pro will have a HDR display. That'll be amazing. And to me, better than OLED. So anyway, catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.